Bring it, bring it, bring it back to run the track. <laughs> So, back for another video, a long-awaited video that I've been teasing for way too long, and that's on me. Totally my fault. Really wanted to do a room tour for our 100th subscriber. We're up to 200 subscriber. Hopefully, three is on the horizon, but finally doing the room tour. It's about where I want it to be. There's only like a few little things, and I'll mention those along the way that I want to update in the room, but for the most part, we're we're there. And I've been promising this since October, and even as far back as I think July when we first hit 100 subscribers. Thank you everyone who's subscribed. If you aren't subscribed yet, hopefully this will make you subscribe or at least keep you interested to watch more videos of mine. So I'm going to flip the camera around, and we're going to get right so into this. Right when you walk in the door, there is our little snack concession stand type thing. Um, we have salt and pepper shakers, Joker and Batman. Sam got that for Christmas for me. I would say our first or second Christmas together. And we have a little pop of Sam's favorite candy, Sour Patch Kids. We have a small popcorn machine, but it works really good from... Um, Target. I think it was about 60 bucks, which works great. Um, some more candy down here. Food, snacks, drinks, so on. And then right next to that, we have my vinyl record player. And my record collection down there. It's not a big collection. When you collect movies and everything, you don't want to overdo it with everything. Unless you can. And we have... One of my favorite A24 films right there. Good time. And a poster. You can see me. Hi. That I got at Comic-Con. For one of my favorite movies of all time. My favorite horror movie. I I would say. The Thing. Love that poster. It's gorgeous. Um, we'll get over there soon. But um, here's my bed. My nice red bed. Right next to that, we have hiding most of, like, the cleaning stuff, garbage bags, like, just the essential stuff. We have a pop-up standee for my grandma's favorite movie, Independence Day. And I got this for, like, $25 on eBay, and I really like it. Sam thinks it's a little in the way of everything, but it's really easy to move. It's very light. So I enjoy that. Speaking of Sam, this is Sam's little desk that I got her last Christmas, two Christmases ago. And her typewriter that she never uses that I also got her. Pictures of us. And her another poster from Comic-Con, Harry Potter, that's Hogwarts. Not my favorite thing, but Sam loves Harry Potter. And then... This is from Comic-Con as well, when Sam met Pee Wee Herman, even that she found out right that weekend that Pee Wee Herman's been arrested for some mischievous things. Right here is a mini fridge with some different movie magnets on it and other things. On top of it, we just have hand sanitizer, because, you know, the virus, tissues, my watch groomsman card from justin so wish him a merry marriage when that happens wallet uh headphones and then i keep a notepad here just to write down some ideas for youtube even that i only put out a video like once every three weeks um garbage bags well plastic bags what in new york are now not allowed so and then we have a few posters here Lion King and Toy Story, two of my favorite Disney movies. And then another thing from Comic-Con that I absolutely fell in love with and Sam fell in love with, so we had to buy that. And then above it, I just have my AC, what I've not taken out in like two years. I'm a Colts fan, so I have that. Andrew Luck, why'd you have to leave? I'm also a Celtics fan. Some books and pretty much just clutter up here yankee stuff yankee fan i know i have random sports 
taste. Over here, another Comic-Con exclusive painting. 99 out of 100, really enjoy that one. And then I have a cork board with pins. And that's really cool. So, and above that, we just have random cups from events I've gone to. Um, right there, you can see Moe's Tavern from when I went to Florida with Sam. And, and we have a little shade dividing the rooms. There's my dog. My favorite thing in the world after movies and Sam. Actually, Sam knows Co my dog Cody's on top of her on the totem pole. Another Comic-Con purchase. I went off at Comic-Con because I've never been before. I absolutely love this piece. It's gorgeous. It's all hand-carved wood burning something or other, but I just love it. It was about 100 bucks, which is a little steep, but I found it extremely worth it. We have Ben-Hur Blu-ray 50th anniversary set in the Pearl Harbor. I believe this is a VHS set that I got very cheap. Uh, just a regular TV, nothing special, flat screen. I have the carry pop and, uh, pet cemetery pop. Down here we have my Amazon Alexa TV or whatever it's called, fire box. And just a cheap Blu-ray player that me and Sam picked up on Black Friday a few years back. It works just fine. It's nothing great. And down here we have Sam's Harry Potter collection. What is, yeah, that's just her stuff. I, I, like I said, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. And then there's just clutter that I wasn't gonna show, but I did. And to separate the rooms, we have this red shade. What it was like eight bucks at uh, Walmart, so. Works great to just divide the rooms. Coming in here, we have right above the door, Bubba Gump Shrimp. Me and Sam hate seafood. But we went to the city and stopped in there, and I had to buy that. Also have mid-90s poster. Shout out to, can't remember the name of the page, but she let me take this and use um, mixed tiles to put it up on my wall. Because she's not allowed to sell them. This is also from Comic-Con. Really like that artwork. Another Comic-Con print for the crow back there. We have Jason. But Chris really loves this thing. He would hide it in all our videos if you never noticed that. Some the lighthouse artwork. Back there we have a Coraline little artwork thing. And here we have Friday the 13th set. Sam bought that for Christmas a while back. And that that was one of my favorite surprises to get. We have a little... I forgot what they're called. The mini pops. I got that when Toys R Us closed down. We have Alfred Hitchcock. Right there. Pamela Voorhees. This is a NECA. I used to collect NECAs. And then I found out... They're really not worth it. They're 30 bucks, And they look decent. But I'd rather get a hot toy. But I only have one so far, and you'll see that a little later on. We have Chris from um, Get Out. Love that pop. Sam's old Nightmare on Elm Street collection. What a! It's just a gorgeous set. Wish the Blu-ray would come out with a nice set. We have the Pan's Labyrinth. I um, forgot the name of this monster, but amazing movie. Amazing art. And it's an amazing NECA figure. I got that, like, half off because of the box being destroyed. And we have this little mystery mini for the creature of the Black Lagoon. The Guillermo del Toro set. A Guillermo del Toro pop. And the Jack Frost lenticular slipcover from Vinegar Syndrome. And right below that, we have my Criterion collection. Well, it's not big so far, but it's not that bad. Two shelves full. Below that's my Scream Factory collection, Shot Factory collection, and my Arrow video. And there's a few random other smaller companies over there. And then just some combo packs of 
some slasher films. And then just random stuff that doubles and overlapping titles. And down here I have that Godzilla set. Such a pain trying to find somewhere to put that. And right here we have R2-D2 that I got at the premiere for Rise of Skywalker. So now that we're down here, I have these red little bins. Each one has different stuff in it. This one's PlayStation. This one's some Switch stuff. And then I have two with blankets in it. And over there is tools, dog toys, and just like wires and stuff over there. This is my Philips Hue lighting. I have a few of these around the room. Love, love, love those during a movie. Over here we have my Goodfellas shelf. Next to that we have the Titanic. And next to that we have Gone with the Wind. What Funny story about this shelf, I have never seen Gone with the Wind. And I own like the VHS, the Blu-ray, and I think that's a Betamax or something back there. Found it for real cheap at like a thrift store. And I had to pick it up. But I just still have not sat down to watch it. Right above that, we have the DCEU on this shelf. Next to that, we have Coraline, which is a wonderful movie. And it's a beautiful little figure right here. Got that at Target for like 20 bucks. And next to that, we have DC Animated Films, the Dark Knight Trilogy. I just kept this box set. I have the trilogy on um, 4K. A NECA figure for the Joker right there. Which is a solid figure. The original Batmobile. It's a little dusty over there. And the horrible figures from the Suicide Squad. And then Dark Knight over there just hiding out in the top. Right above that we have my Pixar shelves. And more hand sanitizer. Love, love, love these shelves because I just love Pixar all the steel books in 4K right there. I still need Incredibles 1 and 2 on 4K and Steelbook. Also need Coco on a 4K Steelbook. I have it on Steelbook and 4K, but not a 4K Steelbook. Right above that, we have Star Wars, which is one of my favorite franchises of all time. What we recently, just today, got in the 4K transfers for all of these. Or most of these, at least. And in here, we have what I bought at the Comic-Con, at some of the booths. The Christmas special on Blu-ray. It's actually a really great quality disc. And the despecialized edition on Blu-ray. What I feel like every Star Wars fan needs to experience Star Wars the way they were supposed to be. Getting back into it, we have my MCU shelves. You got Spider-Man hanging up there. Thanos and Thor. Should have went for the head. Over here we have some Guardians and all the 4K Steelbooks are over here. I even bought this stupid thing that was not worth the money, but I do like having it in my collection. Above that, we have The Wizard of Oz, another one of Sam's, not favorites, but she really likes it. I enjoy it, but I don't know, it just isn't my cup of tea, really. Next to that, we have some pop figures and some of the metal tin popcorn cases that you get from AMC or Regal when you go see the movies the day they come out. Coming down over here in the corner, I also want to apologize if I'm breathing a little heavy or sound a little congested. I have bad allergies and with all this going around, we really haven't left the house. But um, he is a Walking Dead poster that Sam's mom got for me. I think it was definitely for Christmas. I just don't know which one. I have an office shelf right here, what I have on the way, the complete series on DVD. A Game of Thrones shelf that I've yet to finish the show for. Down here we have the Walking Dead shelf. I still collect all of the seasons, even that I haven't kept up with the show. 
Stranger Things shelf. I still got to watch season three. Here's a few just clutter shelves that I, I got to find places for stuff. This is some magazines and my Mondo's uh, art book. More clutter, clutter. I know, I got to clean. But I, it's actually just stuff I can't find a place for. This is a nice little shelf that I have. It's just random stuff. This is a red box Blu-ray that I got through eBay, like in a pack of like a 10 random Blu-rays. That's a DTX audio. Like they sent these out when DTX first came on the scene and that's sealed. So I kept that. This is a for your consideration Shutter Island. Found that at a thrift store for $2. This is a Super 8 camera. Found that for less than 10 somewhere. Back there is um, a rating system through AMC, Blockbuster receipt, and Ultra HD when this first came out, telling you everything you need to know about 4K. Next to that, we have one of the best movies of all time, Back to the Future, and two solid sequels, but the main one is the first one. We have the DeLorean and two pops. Below that, we have a Ready Player One shelf. I didn't love the movie back here. If you just turn that on, see it says Ready Player One. Got that for real cheap at a um, Geek, Geek, what what was the, uh, GameStop bought them. Forgot the name of the store, but it was like five bucks for that thing back there. And... They're, it's a great movie. A great movie. Just a little too much at times. Ghostbusters right next to it. Have the steelbook for the original and the horrible reboot, remake, whatever it was. Horrible. Pop right there. Love that pop. And a little Ecto. Um... Their vehicle, I just got that from Target a while back. Below that, we have a Sam shelf, what is um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, what to me is always going to be a Christmas movie, even that Sam says it's a Halloween movie. Comment below what you think. Next to that, we have It, with the Target exclusive slipcover. Under that, we have the newer Ninja Turtle movies. Not a great movie. Got that for 10 bucks, And then some special edition Cokes that came from Stranger Things. So these are on the wrong shelf. Next to that, we have the brilliant Jaws. What's coming to 4K at the end of uh, June? The end of June, I think, or the beginning of June. And down here, we have some random NECA figures. Like I said, I got real into them for a while. Now, I won't waste my money on them. In my opinion, they're solid, but they're not what I want to collect. All right, so got that side of the room done so far. There's a lot more left to go. Hopefully, you'll stick it out for the whole video. Like I said, sorry if, if I'm breathing a little heavy. Nose is a little stuffed up, but we're kicking through it. Back here, we have our little quarantine day list i've been doodling it's driving me crazy being stuck in this house but i'm gonna flip the camera around show you some more all right so back here we have my couch on my riser that i built myself it's not the most beautiful thing as you can see here there's some really shitty parts of that but i built it all by myself pretty proud of that have my second row of seating back here with my pillows that I don't know what it is, but people who come over, instead of moving the pillows, they just sit on them. So as you can see with the Star Wars pillow, it's all like messed up. It doesn't really matter. I just like the way it looks on there. Above there, you can see what might look familiar for some of you early fans. This is the backdrop of our earlier videos. Right there is my, oh, I had to change that. It's the 12th day of self-quarantining. And those are some of the movies that I've watched so far. Cast Away, Knowing, um, Being There, what well, doesn't fit the theme of the movies on here, but it was a great movie. Train to Busan down there, 
and 28 days later. And then right here we have my first Blu-ray I've ever purchased, Inception. Right there I have a Walking Dead lamp. Sam bought that a long time ago when we first moved in together. E.T. These are Wendy's toys from when I was a kid. The Big Lebowski set, what for the price is kind of a ripoff, but I really enjoy it. I think it's a great set and a great movie. Um, Transformers bu belt buckle. I don't think I've ever worn this. Uh, Big Lebowski Thor, the dude. Castaway, we have Wilson, and I'm drawing, is it Chuck? I'm drawing a blank on his name. Fast and Furious car from the first one. Alien from Alien. <laughs> um, pop and card set. Back there we have an American Pie DVD set. Uh, Al Pacino, Scarface DVD set. Blockbuster previewed collection. I, I always like having little nostalgia pieces like that in my room just to you know bring back memories of when I used to go to Blockbuster all the time and right below that we have my Alexa that just sits behind the couch so everyone can use it my lights are hooked up through that over here won't you be my neighbor with Mr. Rogers, who I used to watch as a kid. And I saw this little train at a garage sale and it reminded me of the train from Mr. Rogers. So I bought that for like five bucks to go back here. As you can see, there's a crack over here. The whole thing cracked. My TV used to be up here and I switched that, thank God. Um, over here we have a Halloween Blockbuster Presents. Also a nostalgia piece. And right above it we have... The 2018 Mike Myers mask. Behind that, we have a Wheaties box for Uncle Drew. And at the time, Kyrie Irvin played for my Celtics, so I bought that. Not a fan of Wheaties, have to say. Under here is Die Hard, Ho Ho Ho, the collection. And then I got the Nakatomi Plaza set back here. The Terminator T2 endo arm a NECA figure for Arnold right there like I said used to collect NECAs down here we have Jack from The Shining and over here we have Sam's Sam and he's a great figure I really like the detail on it really nice worth the money definitely behind all that we have a Batman poster from Comic-Con. And then over here we have... I believe Sam bought this like a long time ago. And it's just been sitting there for a long time. There's a window behind there that I boarded up with like some black paper and the poster. That way light doesn't get through. And over there we have a Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse poster from Comic-Con as well. Step back. There's the whole thing as a whole there's the couch and this is the newest shelf thing i've bought for the room as i said the new star wars movies just came in more hand sanitizer um but i just put some sets up here yes i know friends and full house are different shows but i didn't have anywhere to put the friends pops and same with this rick and maury and married with children two great shows down here we have Game of Thrones, the little eggs, candles, Sam bought, and we have this Game of Thrones seasons one through seven, and that I will be selling soon because I don't need it, and I'll show you why very soon. But getting back up, we have this Harley Quinn bat that I built myself, well, painted myself. I was really bored one day. And right above that, we have Luke Skywalker's um, lightsaber. Shut that off. Up here, we have some of my smaller box sets. And then my non-slipcover movies on a custom shelf that I built. 
and I built two of those. Also have this old tripod right here that my dad found in the garbage. My dad's a garbage man. I used to be a garbage man. We have a bunch of stuffed animals that I have no idea what to do with. My screwdriver, a uh, screw gun, some paper towels, my base for my surround sound, a few books back here. There's another one of those lights and tissues. Also have these cool little drink um, coasters that a friend of ours made. She used uh, wood burning to make them. Sam got these for me for Christmas from her. But she, um, our friend made them for us. And over here, we have a Jaws poster, a little tin, and a Transformers poster. These have been here forever. I just never really pay no mind to them, so maybe eventually I'll switch them out. We have thumbtacks that are doing nothing over here. But as we turn around and back out, you can see that there are the custom shelves. I'm actually really proud that I made that. Only took a few hours and about, I would say, 40 bucks to build. And the riser that I built myself was about two and a half hours and I would say a hundred hours. And on to this door that leads to the bar in my basement that I really just use for storage. We have a Rudy Rudiger jersey signed by Rudy Rudiger himself and Sean Astin at Comic-Con. And we have his stats of the real Rudy, Daniel Rudy Rudebaker, Rudiger, Rudebaker, Notre Dame, Fighting Irish, 1976, defensive end, number 45, played three plays, one sack, first player to be carried off the field at Notre Dame, never quit. Really awesome jersey, really love that hanging on the door right there, and we got that frame from Michaels for about $45. Well worth it. And then down here, we have another Comic-Con poster. That would be Spider-Man Homecoming. No, Spider-Man Far From Home. My bad. Really like the holographic look on that. Next to that, we have my backpack that I use for work. Have a bunch of patches on it. A little red rope, like we're at a movie premiere. And a Camp Crystal Aid hat that I got out of a horror pack. Coming over here, we have my Mantelab edition of Shape of Water, one of my favorite movies of the past decade. And we have two pops from the movie and a NECA figure. NECA figure is really nice, has good detail. Behind that, we have a few A24 small posters that I put up. And below it, we have my premium format Blu-rays and 4Ks. My everything blue edition of Gladiator with two pops. Also have the little corn right there. Absolutely love Gladiator. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Below that, we still have some more editions with another camera that I found at a thrift store for really cheap. Right here, we have Seven, another Manta Lab. I got this a really good deal from someone on Instagram. Shout out to that person. Another little poster that's kind of just there for now. And the Foxcatcher Deluxe Box from Plant Archive. Really like this edition. Fits in there perfect, too. You can see we have a bunch of posters. That one's signed by Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. Uh, some box sets and pops. We'll just show those off really quick. Like I said, if anything you want to see a better video of, let me know and I'll do one. And as you come down here, we have my 4K steel books. And the way I'm filming this is the way my shelf is set up. It goes left to right, does not go up and down, so it follows around this way, 
And then when it gets to the end, it goes to the next row down here. And I have a, quite a bit of a collection. That's why I don't know if I'll ever do a co complete collection. It's just going to be a little hard for me. Over here, we have my little puppy. If you've seen one of my update videos, you'll know I just got a new little puppy. So we have to have a water bowl down here for her. But it's a pretty good size collection. I know it's not the biggest, but... Personally, I'm really proud of it. Right here, we have my little cup holder armrest thing where I keep my remotes, hand sanitizer, cups, and my glasses because my eyesight's not the best when it comes to distance. Right next to that, we have a garbage. And right here is the main seat for the movie room. Sam got me that when we went um when she went down to Florida the first summer we were dating and she brought me back that bear. So he kind of just hangs out here. And we have more pillows even though no one uses them. Over here we have my TV series. Some box sets. And this is why I will be selling the other edition. Because I went out and bought this even though I really didn't need it. And down here we have my garbage that is filled with some movie stickers. Really like that. And come over here we have my glass cases. What You're going to see me a lot. But I have my uncut gems shelf. Uh, a Marvel shelf with Stan Lee sign pop and a Hellboy sign pop by um, Ron Perlman. A little Stan Lee in memoriam thing. And um, down here, that is Sam's little Spider Man statue I bought for her, and two small little cheaper statues. And another Marvel shelf down here. This is a um, piggy bank that I use. And back there you have the Blu-ray box set from Best Buy. I found that for 10 bucks at a uh, thrift store. As we move over down here, you see my Jurassic Park set shelf. Back there is a um, laser disc for Jurassic Park. Up here is Sam's Harry Potter shelf again. She has a few of those. She says there's not enough. I think there's more than enough. In the background, you can see I used to have a wall of just pictures of all my friends, my dogs, me and Sam. That's me back in high school with Sam doing uh, at a football game. And then that's us in, on Spirit Day. Halloween, there's my dog when he was a little baby. And uh, there's me on the back of the garbage truck with my stepdad. Up here, you can see more Star Wars. And since I don't feel like coming down here again, over here is just some horror stuff that I picked up. I didn't notice that that Freddy Krueger hand just fell over, so I gotta fix that. My Tarantino shelf. Right next to it is my Chucky doll from Spirit of Halloween. Right above that is my DC shelf. And there's that Star Wars shelf again. More Star Wars. I like that little Daniel Craig action figure. I got that from Comic-Con. And over here is my one of my prized possessions. My hot toy of John Wick. Over there. And above that I just have an old piggy bank from when I was little, a Life Monsters, Inc. edition, some little mugs, a movie trivia thing. If you've watched our movie trivia videos, this is the one we're using, and a Game of Thrones Monopoly that, if you press it, actually plays the theme, and another mug. Here's my rug, 
And that's from The Shining, if you don't know that, definitely get on that movie. And right above that, we have my Panasonic 4K player. Best picture quality I've seen on a disc so far. In the middle, we have my Switch. Next to that, we have this little thing that someone gave me, so I'll probably end up getting rid of that soon. Cable box on your top left with a Bob Ross pop. We're going to be watching Contagion tonight due to the virus, and we're going to do a movie night, for our first movie night watching that. I had a PlayStation over there. I play a lot of Madden when I have the chance when I'm not watching movies. Spider-Man from the video game pop. That game was one of the best games I've played in a while. And the Tomb Raider pop. Above that, we have my Vizio um, Dolby Atmos soundbar. And the speakers also are in the back. It's a two-speaker and a bass and the soundbar for the Dolby Atmos. It's not great. It's not like a Dolby Atmos surround sound, but I don't have the money or the space for that. So it works just fine for me. Back there, we have the Kylo Ren lightsaber. And above that, we have my OLED LG C9 4K uh, TV. Absolutely love the picture that comes off this. This is a, a New Hope, the new 4K edition. I just popped it in in the background. And behind that, we have two posters for Wind River and Joker. Wind River is such a great movie. And Joker, I absolutely loved. I know a lot of people have issues with it. But I thought it was great. And behind there we have... This is also another red drape. Just to keep the room separated. And right next to that we have my Stubbs Premier. Crown Club Stubbs. Crown Club. And a little blockbuster thing. And one of Sam's favorite movies, Call Me By Your Name, little poster. And beware, this might be a little bright, but down here we have, these are the Philips Hue light strips. And they work great when you want to switch the colors to match the movies. Great. Definitely recommend if you are looking into any lighting for your room. Philips is a great brand. And that's about it. So I'm going to flip this around. And three, two. All right. So that's, I think, everything for the movie tour, movie room tour. And I'm going to throw in a little montage closer up on some of the things that I showed. Because I just couldn't get to everything as close and in-depth as possible. If you want to see any videos on certain collections or certain things... Let me know down below. I'll definitely do some of those. Subscribe to the video. Oh, and I don't I don't know if anyone if anyone's looking into doing YouTube and needs a recommended lighting for it. This is my light and it's um a mount dog. I got it on Amazon for about 30 bucks. I've had it for over a year and it's worked perfectly. I've never even had to change the bulb yet and it came with an extra bulb. So definitely look into that. Like I said, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.